Studying chemistry at A-level enables you to explore key scientific concepts covered at GCSE but in more depth, detail and complexity. These key concepts of chemistry covered in the first year here begin with the foundations of chemistry such as atomic and electron structure, amount of substance and structure and chemical bonding. Studying A-level chemistry gives you a deeper insight into why chemical reactions take place and how these reactions occur, which is truly fascinating. Our chemists build on the foundation knowledge of chemical theory, but also incorporate practical laboratory skills into their learning so that they become complete chemists, fully prepared for a degree in chemistry or another practical-based subject. So what will I study? The chemistry course is split into six modules or sections. In the first year, you'll complete six required practicals and a further six in year two. The exams link to the practicals you have completed. Application-based questions are super common where you'll be asked to calculate a certain concentration, volume or moles of a compound, or even apply your knowledge and evaluate a given experiment. Module 2, we explore the foundations in chemistry, we'll recap topics which we have visited in GCSE chemistry but at a higher level. So topics such as atomic structure, electron structure, acid-based titrations, redox and chemical bonding. This module allows us to bridge the gap between GCSE and A level and lay the foundation to the course. So the periodic table, energy and rates of reaction. This model co covers topics of inorganic chemistry through the study of the reactions and properties of group two and seven elements. You learn how quickly reactions occur in kinetics and how far they go in chemical equilibrium. Core organic chemistry is next. So you'll study and cover alkanes, alkenes and other functional groups, including analytical techniques, such as infrared, which are used in modern breathalyzers. Check out our transition work on the website for more information and tasks you can do to prepare. Will I go on any trips? So you will have the opportunity to experience the following trips and extracurricular activities. So we have run a trip to the University of Lancaster where students attempt a masterclass challenge to find out what happens to cause the body in the lab. This session will use ultraviolet spectroscopy to determine the concentration of aspirin in the body and ascertain the amount present was enough to be the cause of death. You will use techniques such as TLC, melting point, IR, HPLC and NMR analyses which are essential analytical techniques covered across the chemistry course. Cambridge Chemistry Challenge where you will complete a 90 minute competition which aims to stretch and challenge students interested in chemistry. It is an excellent experience for anyone considering taking chemistry further in their studies. Um, students who perform best will win an invitation to a residential camp at the University of Cambridge at the end of August. The Royal Society of Chemistry Olympiad. So you'll develop critical problem solving skills, learn to think more creatively and get a chance to test your knowledge in new real world situations. The competition is made up of three stages that start with a written test and end with four students representing the UK at the prestigious International Chemistry Olympiad. How will I be assessed? There are two exams at the end of the first year to provide you with an insight into how you are performing in chemistry. These do not count towards your final grade though. We also have three exams at the end of the second year. They feature a mixture of multiple choice and short answer questions. What are the entry requirements? Five grade fives or above, including maths and English, a minimum of a grade six six in double science or a grade six in GCSE separate science. Within A-level chemistry, 20% of the marks available in written exams will be for assessment of maths in chemistry. Where could this subject lead? So A-level chemistry is required to progress to degree courses and careers such as medicine, biomedical science, dentistry, pharmacy, veterinary science, optometry and audiology also including chemical engineering, forensic science or obviously teaching and lecturing like myself. It could also be a good third subject to study if you enjoy problem solving with maths 
Some of our year two students also go on to study accounting and business management at degree level.